All right, guys, it's uh, Saturday, October 9th. Uh, it's 12.30 <clears throat> right now. Jake and I were going to go out this morning, but I think my wife got up at 3 o'clock this morning and shut my alarm off on me, so by the time I woke up, I figured we might as well just come out around noon and just sit till dark. So that's what we're going to do. Jake is way up at the head of this piece of land sitting on the edge of a field, and it's actually a spot that I usually like to sit in when I hunt down here. Uh, opening day a couple years ago, I was sitting there and had a nice eight-pointer sneak in behind me, and I missed him. I ended up taking a shot, but I missed him. But, uh, I pushed way down to the back of this piece. There's a uh, brook run right behind me, and there's another one coming in from the east, and they meet just below where I am. And the deer actually have a pretty beaten trail right next to me going across this one brook and over onto the next skid road. I'm sitting kind of on an old skid road right now, and it's all this land out here has been cut, but it's been years, so it's grown up pretty heavily. I've got raspberry bushes all in front of me. And the next lot over was cut probably way before this one. And the trees are all grown up about 10, 20 feet high out there, and it's just really thick. And I think the deer like to bed out in that stuff. Like I said, it's 12.30 right now. Uh, legal shooting time is about 6.30. So I've got about six hours to sit here and hang out. But I also have two bonus doe tags this year, so I can shoot. And I have a regular doe tag, so I can either shoot two does and a buck, or I can shoot three does, and that's not including expanded archery tags. So, pretty much anything comes within range tonight, and it's going to get narrow in it. But we'll see what happens. six o'clock right now five minutes of um, about 530 I got a text from Jake I guess he had a nice eight pointer come sneaking up out of the corner of the field and it ended up going right behind him and I guess it saw him moving while he was trying to get his stuff together but <clears throat> he said it didn't really freak out it just kind of looked at him and it turned around and ran off and then just stopped and started walking so close but no cigar he's doing better than me though I've been out here since 1230 and I haven't seen a single deer, just about a million red squirrels. But we've got about a half hour of legal time left, so I'm probably going to give it about 20 minutes and start wrapping my stuff up. By then it's probably going to be too uh, dark to shoot anything anyway, so... At least somebody saw something, though. I guess he did get some video of it, too. We'll check that out.
Well, we made it back to the truck. I didn't see any deer the rest of the night. Didn't see anything on the way out. Jake had that one nice little buck coming through the corner of the field and then kind of circled up around him and he couldn't quite pull it off, but he'll be around. I don't think, I think the way Jake explained it, it looked like he, uh, or sounded like he, I haven't watched the video yet, but sounded like he just caught his wind a little bit and didn't really know where he was or what he was, but things will start picking up soon. It's middle of October almost, so things can only get better from here. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.